By now you should be fairly efficient at entering data and navigating through Excel. However, there are many techniques that we haven't gone over that will make your time in Excel even more efficient. Imagine you had a list of suppliers which all supplied the same products and you were assigned the task of populating an Excel table with their names, inventory, and prices. You would obviously want to do this in the most efficient way possible, right? Working efficiently means finding steps that can be eliminated. Continuously typing the company names and products over and over again is one of those steps that needs to be eliminated. Let's work with an example to introduce some efficient data entry techniques. Suppose we have three companies which all supply car audio equipment. Florida Stereo Supply Company, Central Florida Audio Supply, and Southeast Audio Supply Company. We need to populate a table that lists their company names, their products, and their prices. The first technique we're going to go over is using autocorrect to replace an abbreviation with a word. Step 1. Click on File, and then click on Options, and the Options dialog box will appear. Step 2. Click on Proofing, and then click on the Autocorrect Options button, and the Autocorrect Options dialog box will appear. Step 3. In the Replace box, type in FSSC, and in the With box, type Florida Stereo Supply Company, and click Add. Then in the Replace box, type in CFAS, and in the With box, type Central Florida Audio Supply, and click Add. Finally, type in SEAS in the Replace box and Southeast Audio Supply in the With box. Click Add, click OK, and then press OK on the Excel Options dialog box. Step 4. Activate cell B6. Hold down the Shift button and click on cell D14. Now you've selected a range of cells to work in. The first cell in the range should automatically be activated. Step 5. Type FSSC and press Enter. And type CFAS and press Enter. And then type SEAS and press Enter. Continue this pattern until cells B6 through B14 are filled. Another feature that will make your time in Excel more efficient is the autocomplete command. Step 1. In cell C6, type Audiobon 600W AMP and press Enter. Step 2. Start typing Audiobon and you will see that Excel automatically filled the cell with the content you just typed in cell C6. This is the autocomplete feature. Press Enter and then do the same thing in cell C8. Continue filling in column C with data all the way to row 14, but enter Alpine 600W AMP in rows 9 through 11 and Sony 600W AMP in rows 12 through 14. Step 3. Enter the following numbers in order from cell D6 to D14. 425, 400, 415, 380, 390, 370, 500, 510, and 490. Now format the numbers to currency. Another feature that will make your time in Excel more efficient and more organized are tables. Step 1. Make sure the range of cells B6 through D14 are still selected. Click on Insert and then click Table in the Tables group. When the Create Table dialog box appears, just press OK. Now replace the category titles. Step 2. Now click on the down arrows in the table and experiment with sorting the table rows.
This is an especially useful feature with large tables. Now we're going to go over entering current dates and times in Excel. Suppose that we want to let people who are working with this table know when it was last updated and we also want to have the current date in a cell that automatically updates the worksheet with the current date and time. In cell A2, press control semicolon and today's date will be entered. In cell B2, press control shift semicolon and the current time will be entered. Now in cell A4, enter the equal sign today and then close parentheses. And that cell in the workbook will always be updated with the current date. If you open this workbook one week from today, then the date will be updated to that date. In cell B4, enter the equal sign and now and then close parentheses. And this cell will always display the current time. You could open this workbook five hours later and the time would be correct. In this tutorial, we have introduced you to some data entry techniques that will make your time working in Excel even more efficient. We showed you how to work within a range of cells, use autocorrect to replace abbreviations with long titles and names, use autocomplete to save time from typing repetitive words, insert tables to organize data, and finally how to insert the current dates and times. What we have done is simply introduce you to these techniques. The best way to learn Excel is to practice and experiment on your own in combination with these tutorials.